I did not feel super great this morning, and my brain's like quite not working properly. I'm a little bit sleepy, and I could not think of a single deck I wanted to play. I'd say for the last 15 minutes, I just sat here looking at my computer like, Oh God, what am I going to play? I uh, played that recently, played that recently, can't think one. And somehow I ended up on this saffron olive list. I may want to cut myself before the end of the day. I'm not really sure. Like, it does things. Anointed Procession and Sunscourge Champion and Champion of Wits are, like, all really good cards. Ixalan's Binding's good. Like, I feel like it's a little light on early game interaction and that, like, a lot of decks are just going to get out in front of it. And then it's, like, really going to struggle. I don't think the Solomonides are particularly good in the sideboard. I think Energy is already a big enough favorite versus you by just casting their Glory Bringers and things. Then uh, you having to worry about actually beating their Energy cards. I would rather see something like Settle the Wreckage in that sideboard slot because that's typically how you beat them. You just clear the board and win with whatever your leftovers are. Um... Gideon's Intervention I don't think is good enough either. Like, I assume it's obviously for, like, the blue-white approach. Uh, might bring it in versus some Scarab God matches. Um, maybe some Torrential Gear Hulk matches. But, like, I don't know. I was just looking. It, it's, it's fine. I was looking at it. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Um, definitely a lot on land here. But... It is just a, as shown before, it's a 26 land deck, so I feel like we've got a reasonable chance to draw some more, and like we've already got some number of powerful cards in our hand. And we got the cards we want most if it's versus Teamer, we got the card we want most if it's versus Red Deck Wins. Um, hey, Flame Guts, what's up, man? I have not saw you around in some number of times. Hope you've been having a good life. We're playing the Saffron Olive Brew today. <laughs> Opponent's done. Alright. Well, we got a turn two kill in standard without doing a single point of damage. Yeah, opponent got man screwed and he had enough of our bullshit. He's like, Screw you, buddy. I don't think we want negates. I don't think we want spell pierces. We obviously don't want Solomonides. Guinea's intervention's okay. You can call, like, Chandra or Hazard or whatever, but, like, Ixlon's Binding does the same thing. Uh. Hey, there's nothing. Being, being busy with life is a good thing. Um. Because they play dinosaurs, I don't really want to shave on Fumigates, which is one of the things that I used to shave on. When I played uh, these slower white decks, I felt like I only ever needed to draw one. But now that they have Dinosaur, I think that card's strong enough that I want to draw them all. Or, like, often want to draw more than one. So, like, the only cards I don't really want to draw a lot of are Angel of Sanctions and uh, Chart the Courses and... The Angel Sanctions are bad versus both Chandra and Glorybringer. Shark the Course is fine. I think we're going to shave... I think we're going to shave at least one Angel. Uh, it might be two, but I'm going to hedge and just shave one and one. Actually, I don't like shaving this Shark the Course. That was bad. Because it gives us a turn two way to like discard things. Alright, well this hand's... Again, not real good looking, but got double of these and we got an answer to a Chandra and or Hazard. I don't think I can mulligan that. I think we just have to hope these are good enough. Which they could be, especially if he has a hand like, oh gosh, not a Beaumont Courier. Anything but a Beaumont Courier. Ripperoni pepperoni. Triple one drop. Yeah, well, this isn't a game that we're likely to win. Guess we'll play the Meandering River. Uh, 
And if he's got a nasty little dino, we're in a little bit of trouble. We're all right. We're in a little bit of trouble anyway. God, four one drops. All right. Well, if he doesn't have a burn spell, there's some chance that these Sun Scourger champions buy us enough time to let us draw a fumigate. Uh. It's getting worse and worse, my friends. Now he gets to draw like a million cards, and we're like really far behind. This hand might have actually been good enough on the play. Oh, and a hazard? Well, that's just a lot of damage. Yeah, so we're going to block one of these Beaumont Couriers and then look at our life total because I'm not doing the math until afterwards since it doesn't matter. Are we dead? Four. So we kill this, we block this, we're still dead. Yeah, we're still dead. A server network up. You're talking like over my unintelligent head right now. I don't I don't really know what you're talking about. Why, why do you not like the Black Red deck? I really enjoy the Black Red deck. And by the way, hello, hello. Is this hand too good? Or too bad to keep? Alright, we'll keep this and we're probably going to get browned. <laughs> uh, it's not a land, but I want it. I'm keeping it. I don't know if I should have kept that card. I feel like we just have to find a blue mana, but there's not a lot of blue mana in our deck. And then we like, get to do things. Maybe keeping the second authority was just greedy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Mardu either, though I gotta be honest, I was considering playing Mardu today, but then I didn't want to buy Heart of Karens. Alright, well, I guess we just don't get to play Magic. This is gonna be a quick match. A quick match indeed. My kingdom for a glacial fortress. I probably had stellar hands both games 2 and 3. Oh wow. Is there magic to still be played? Well, I guess we'll use this. I think there's magic to still be played, boys. I'll discard those two because really wanting to get to the Fumigate here and Ixalan's Binding's good versus Chandra and or Hazret. Sahili? I've, I've not played Sahili since they banned the combo. It's kind of interesting though. Really? He killed my champion of wits. Mind blown. Still have a really high life total. If we just draw like a land land, we're probably in this. You know what this card isn't? This card isn't a land. Hey, LLV1. What's up? So now we need to draw like basic planes or we're dead? We're going down to 13. If he's got a hazard, it, we're probably pretty screwed as well. I think we're going down to 13, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 13. Oh, and it was a hazard. It. So it was, it was literally just everything. 
All right. Well, it might not be over. He doesn't get to draw the cards off the Beaumont. We're going back to 19. This will put us back to 14. Another untapped. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry Thompson did some work with that at uh, Nationals. So if we get an untapped land for this, then we get to take this, which does things. Hey, we did hit a land for that, too. Go ahead and take that one. Yes, please. So it gets to survive a Glorybringer at least one turn, and if it, even if it's a Chandra, this comes back into play tap, so we at least prevent two, which is great. We're certainly not blocking. Not in a million years do we block there. Is that another land? Nope, it's not another land, so... Let's start with an attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we'll chart some courses. Hmm. I think we're going to play this one to prevent the loss of life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there's no one drops in the deck beside of, besides authority, so I think I'm just going to pass here in case I hit a Glacial Fortress on the following turn. Eh, nah, screw it. We're going to take the point of life. Kind of messed up there. I probably should have played that one first. I wasn't going to play it, and I changed my mind, so... Um, that was just bad play by me. Yeah, that was just bad play by me. And the opponent's done. I can't believe we won that game. That was insane. Yeah, that, that was very bad play by me. I wasn't originally going to play this Champion of Wits because I didn't want to take this point of damage. And then, like, when I reevaluated it, I decided that the point of damage was worth taking. Which means I should have played this first, though, in case I wanted to draw, or in case I wanted to discard this to play something better. Or, like, maybe I won't, didn't want to keep that land or whatever. So, like, yeah, that was a, that was very bad ordering, but I changed my mind after it was too late. So you've been working hard down there, JJ, still? Arc Survival Evolved. Is that a... I like how I like jump around talking. Is that a... Kind of like an H1Z1 type game? I've heard the name, but I've never saw it, so I don't actually know what it is. What do we got here? We have... A bunch of slow white cards, so we're probably going to mulligan. I don't think the Hostile Deserts are going to be good enough for this deck. I think we have to keep this even though we don't want it. That's not a land, so that's going on the bottom. The Dinosaur Survival Games. So we're versus another red deck, which is what I'm assuming is supposed to be like roughly our best match. But, I mean, you see what kind of miserable draw we have. That sucks. Kind of want the land, I guess. This card, at least one of you. And maybe this Sunscourger champion will be enough to keep us in this game. I don't know. Okay. That's fair. The Ixalan version. All right. I at least now know what we're talking about. I'm surprisingly not a huge gamer. <laughs> I'm posting another Abzan tokens list later tonight. So I think we've already lost this game. I don't think we can come back from here. Especially if he has any type of follow-up. What are the specs on my comp? 
Uh, I don't know. They're reasonable, but I get sick when I play those type of games, so I just typically don't. Got a weak stomach. Wonder if I should have blocked this one. Because whichever one I block, he's going to sack, so now he gets three cards instead of two, but that's probably dumb of me to even think. Oh, that's nice. Uh, uh, land and I guess you. I mean, I'm just dead. Oh, I said that was pretty cool. And I kind of laughed. Like, like that's, that's pretty sweet. Okay, we're done here. We got browned. So we beat Mono Red pretty easily last round, and then we got crushed by it pretty easily this round. I think uh, we want these authorities back, and we'll cut out some of these slower angels. I got a buddy that uh, plays the crap out of like H1Z1 and PUBG and stuff like that. And we got another... This deck has a 26 land deck, so I'm not really sure how we're constantly having land issues. I think that card's powerful enough that I still want it, even though we're mana screwed. I think that card's like one of the key cards to winning all these matches. I don't think we win a whole lot without it. And we do have one more two drop in case we miss a land. A lot of our lands come into play tapped as well. Wonder if this deck could just use a better mana base. Like, could it just use the uh, blue white approach mana base? Yeah, it seems like he's got a removal spell for that, which is unfortunate for us, especially since we don't have lands. Feeling pretty confident though. If we just hit a couple of lands, that we'll win this game fairly easy. Doesn't seem like we're going to draw a couple lands, though, so. Yeah, we'd be so far out in front that the card like that wouldn't even matter. Uh, again, this is a 26 land deck, so. It's a little frustrating that the game's coming down like this. And that card is just brutal and probably does us in. If we don't hit the land, we're just scooping. Will we hit the land? I think we're scooping anyway. Like, we can't ever stop that from ultimating, so we're just done here. Two Ribbles of Ixalan cards spoiled. I've solved a 12-12. Move into the next round. I assume... It's all promo for, like... Uh, yeah, Silver Gale Adept. That's kind of a sweet reprint. I'm kind of glad I got rid of mine while they were still moderately high. That 12 12 is interesting, too. Kind of like the art on it. I find it interesting that like all these dinosaurs have such color in them. Man, when's that set come out? That seems like it's coming around pretty quickly. Alright. We have lands and we have spells. We're ready to try to play some magics. Lands and spells. Let's go, boys. Blue-black control? Probably not a winnable match. But we do get to cast spells this game. He really censor that? Wow. I'm flabbergasted. I 
I have no idea. I think, uh... I think they, like, they, like, changed around the timing to try to keep people more interested, like, game days at the end of the season now and stuff like that, and I think that they just think it'll keep people more interested in Standard, but what they don't realize is, like, that doesn't make people more interested in Standard at all, it's, what keeps people more interested in Standard is Standard being a good format. Like, people haven't got quote-unquote burnout on standard when, like, Smuggler's Copter and Emrakul and Coco and all this stuff was legal. They got bored of playing versus those cards. Our opponents had a million counter spells. Let's just discard this one. Let's get a counter spell for this thing too? Wow. The uh the Pro Tour is this weekend, right? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't do that till next turn. All right. I guess we'll just play our sweet one one. Got him. What are you gonna do when the Dorn Pouncer runs wild on you? I think the Pro Tours this weekend. Really, the fourteenth? Let me break out the Google machine. Uh, Pro Tour Ixalan. Thought it was like the third and fifth, but what do I know? Kind of hope it's not this weekend, because I have other things I want to do this weekend. No, nope, this 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 is weekend three through five, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, we'll close this tab too. Hey, Papa Guinea. By the way, hello, James. What's the hippity happity? I will defeat you with two points of damage, sir. Alright, or we'll just sit in our main phase for some significant amount of time. He's trying to decide what he wants to do about this cat, because this cat's on the prowl. It's getting ready to pounce. Yeah. So it's this weekend coming. Yeah. I will watch the crap out of it, because it's what I do. Hey, go game a little, go game a little, buddy. This card being a rare kind of blows my mind. Yeah, I guess we'll just sit here in this phase again. Nice. So our opponent played a cancel. I wonder if that is a budget concern or if he just has four disallows and a cancel He has at least some number of disallows to go with that cancel. This could be bad, because now he could like be gear hulking. 
Let's just attack first. If they like gear hooks to block or whatever, we get the three the bomb dude. Wonder why we keep pausing during like my attack step. Is he like trying to make me miss an attack or something? I think this uh, game's already lasted longer than both my previous matches. Alright. Hello, Champion of Wits. Looks like it's just another disallow. That's fun. <laughs> I, I also agree. I believe that energy decks are going to... I think energy decks and token decks are going to dominate. So we have to fight a Nicobolus now? I don't want to fight a Nicobolus. You can't, you can't, uh, really. Nixlon's binding. Stop hitting sweet cards off the top of my deck, please. I think I messed up. I should have left this untapped and used it on myself. Because using it on myself could have hit me a nice Eternalizer. If he has a gear hook or something, we probably can't win. Yeah, I messed myself up last turn, though. What do we get? Oh, we got all sorts of goodies. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he does have a gear hulk. Yeah, so we just can't win then. Is this game super over? I don't really even have an out now. Same bad in my to me three Chandras. And he's gonna attack me? That means he has another gear hulk if he's attacking, right? Could play the forty of the councils. But I want something to discard to the Sunscourge champion at some point. Yeah, whatever. This card to the Sunscourt Champion. I don't really know what's going on here. We might be winning. <laughs> Pretty sure we're really far behind. Another Ixalan's Binding. He's drawn more of our Ixalan's Bindings than we have. I attack you, Bolus. Go get some. Is 
This may resolve? No, not resolving. That's unfortunate. So he's got multiple disallows and multiple cancels. Well, that's not good. And nothing else in our graveyard either. He got a third Ixalan's binding. What is this? What is this maniac doing? If he has a removal spell or another gear hook, we're just picking them up. We can pretty much pick them up anyway. Look at all the value he's gotten. Really. He let it deal the damage and then he... Thing? He's a little, a little salty about that. Not really. No, I don't really, don't really care. All right, so we'll take, bring in these, bring in these, bring in these, I guess. Can call Scarab God, Nicobolas, Gearhulk. I think we can call Gearhulk. It doesn't say non-artifact, does it? Nope. All right, so what else do we take out? I think I want all the creatures. Just going to take out the four Fumigates and not care. What else can we take out? These cards seem to have the smallest impact. Um, Sun Scourge or Champion is not great, I guess. Uh, I'll cut some Sun Scourge or Champions. I don't want to draw too many of those, I guess. Uh oh. Maybe this card's just better than this card. We have four Ixalons bindings and three Gideon's interventions, and he's got to be fairly thin on ways to kill us, so. Yep, another one land hand in our 26 land deck. I keep emphasizing that because I run super code. Do I have trivia? Yeah, I'm not a Patreon supporter, because I have no money to give no ones. So, this adorned pouncer better do God's work or we ain't winning. Led with a swamp instead of a blue source or a tap land, which means this adorned pouncer is, uh, really, he brought in duresses? That's kind of interesting. I would never bring in duresses here. Don't think duresses are good enough to uh, pull counter spells, which means he's only hitting our one or two anointed processions and nothing else. Hey, JJLV, so far we're one and one versus mono red, and we're down a game versus blue black control. Onward, cat, onward. I will cycle you. Yep, Searsy Rip <laughs> rocking this house.
floop table. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So based on how he's played the rest of uh, this match, he's definitely going to counterspell this chart, chart of course, right? And the commands for Twitch are cool. Wow, he didn't counterspell it. That's peculiar to me. So we've drawn nothing but lands this game. I mean, like, we drew some spells. I'm just saying we've got eight lands and, like, 12 cards, which is like a bundle. He still knows we have the Field of Runes. Maybe at some point I should play it. So I'll play it next turn. I gave him a little bit of information when I played the Rivulet instead of the Field. Yeah, well, if he's going to dress me, I guess I have to cast Negate on it. Which sucks, because now he gets the uh, procession as well. We do battle. We drew another land. All the things that we love. Might hit something we can eternalize. Yeah, we did. Hey, Geo. What's up, man? What does that face mean? Means we screwed, fam. Kind of just want to play this as a creature. He counterspells it or whatever. It's not like it can't come back even more powerful than before. And we know we're spending our mana on the next two turns on these, providing the board doesn't change or like we draw something ridiculous or something. And if he's got like a Veraska's Contempt or something to deal with this, like dealing with it now as opposed to later is irrelevant to us. Lost Legacy. So I guess he's calling Champion a Wits then. He brought in Lost Legacy versus us? Our opponent's an actual maniac. Our opponent is a literal maniac. But we're still losing. And losing is half the battle. across the table, little angel of sanctions. Kind of want to cast this too. Do I play this or do I just play this? One of them's a lot worse versus Gear Hulk. Yeah, 
The annoying pouncer is much worse versus gear hulk, so I'm just gonna put six power play of flyers in play. F6 value if I do it now. Is like in theory dead next turn unless he has something? Could easily have something though. Man, a Blood Moon would crush us, wouldn't it? I guess standard would be very different if Blood Moon was legal. Hey, we won a game. Screw you, Magic 8-Ball. I guess the 8-Ball did say match. It did not say game. Alright, so... We would fumigate. We definitely don't want those. We definitely don't want these. So... These three cards are considerable. We're already kind of light on action. Especially if he's bringing in Lost Legacy. Like, we're going to have very few ways to actually win a game. And I don't think Champion's actually a way to win a game. So, Or, sorry, I don't think Sun Scourge Champion. We've got two champions on the deck, so I have to be specific. But yeah, I think we're just going to run it back. Is this hand good enough? Short. Sure. Oh, Spell Pierce, which could do something, and we have technically a 2-drop and some 3-drops, and we even have a 4-drop in case he gets something through. I'll leave it to Rivulet just in case we need to Spell Pierce on turn 2. Um, the Glacial Fortress will come into play untapped on turn 3 regardless. There you go. Enjoy your sensors and stuff. Spend your entire card for our half of a card, please. Got us. I guess we're going to go with this one first. Try to set it up to where we can potentially protect this with a spell pierce. This little thing attacks for two anyway. Uh, essence scatter? Nope, just a cycle. I actually value this card pretty highly. We're going to duress. I have to probably take the Ixalan's Binding because these things are redundant. Could take the Spell Pierce just so we can't protect the champion next turn, but I assume he's taking the Binding. I guess a lot of it depends on what is, is in his hand. If he does take the Spell Pierce, I'm just running this out without protection and not caring. What Netflix series would I recommend? Well, what genre of type, what genre of shows do you enjoy? I guess that's the uh, most important part there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to keep those. I watch. I have a very weird taste in things I watch. Like nobody should probably ever ask me what to watch. All 
We're gonna have an adorned fountain turn in our graveyard. You gonna know, lost legacy me? I don't even... What are you going to call Floss Legacy? Yeah, I didn't think so. What on earth would you even call? I guess if you have it in your hand, it's better than not casting it, but... It's just not a good call. I guess you can call Angel of Sanctions, but, like, I don't really want Angel of Sanctions. Call Spell Pierce so you can try to resolve your Nicobolus, maybe? I think uh, what he calls is going to be very determinant on what's in his hand. I am playing a Saffron Olive deck today, so that might be perfect for you, then. This is a Saffron Olive deck. He 5 0 with it, even. We lost to it on stream when we played the Black Red Aggro deck, so we were like, yeah, we'll give it a go. Opponent is uh, struggling hard on figuring out what to call with this Lost Legacy. To cast out. He knows there's no cast outs in our deck. He lost Legacy to this last game and real it saw that there is zero cast outs in our deck. knows there's zero cast outs in our 75. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this thing back. I'm not really that worried about his sweepers and even if he does have the sweepers we have a lot of action for the following turn. Um, I assume at this point he just has like a gear hulk. She gets very little value if he has a gear hulk. Raska's contempt, that's fine. Don't care about that. We both just kind of time walked each other there. He gained two life, whatever. Have another adorned little kitty kitty. Meow meow. Saffron Olive does really good content. Yeah, so we're going to start with this thing. Draw two cards and then make some decisions. I think we're going to just put power on the board. That way, in case he does have a Torrential Gear Hulk, we can try to fight through it a little bit. If he taps out for a gear hook on the following turn or whatever, we know we're going to resolve this anointed procession. That's not a gear hook. I'm going to attack you for about half your life, sir. We'll start with this. Keep all the power cards in our hand. Go ahead and play a land here. So I assume that he's going to play a Gear Hulk. And I assume that we are going to Ixalan's Binding it. 
After we counterspell this, of course. All right, well, first of all, won't allow that. Sure. So you go to those two. Binding Gear Hulk so we don't have to worry about it for the next little bit. And play a land. What phases or what phrases I say a lot? I mean, I probably say a lot of things a lot. I am the type of person that repeats myself quite often. Alright, so now he's probably looking for a... Essence Scatter just to stay alive. Screw you, Magic 8-Ball. You can suck it. We won. This is a bad matchup for us. <laughs> I do say that a lot. And then we, then we often beat them like we just did. I also say this a lot. If you like what you're following, guys, make sure to click the follow button. And look at the links down below the stream to find both my Twitter and my Twitch. On the Twitter, you'll find every deck list we play, all the times we go live, and my random musings and interactions with people. On the YouTube, you'll find all of our past broadcasts. If you are watching from the YouTube, keep in mind that below the video in the description there, you can find a link to the Twitter, the Twitch, and the deck list. I have a voice for radio. I have a face for radio, rather. Yeah, I don't know. I like my women to look like Jay Leno. I, I definitely know who I was referencing when I said that. Back in the early days of this stream, we might have talked about porn a little too much. Or maybe we talked about it just enough and we don't talk about it enough now. Who knows? I'm an old pervert, though, so... Rock on. I feel like we've played this Raul X guy before. Hey, dumb below Dodo. What it is, man. How them hours of devastation packs are rocking today. Are you making millions? Or are millions making you? This hand seems pretty bad. I normally will keep two land hands, especially on the draw, but that hand seemed terrible. Alright, this hand seems even worse. Why did I mulligan again? What? What's going on here? What's going on? Instrop flashback is sweet, though. So our hand's obviously very weak. Maybe we should have kept the first straw? I like my women like I like coffee. Cold, white, and bitter. Can you have white and bitter coffee at the same time? Don't, don't kill this guy. We want this guy. No, 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 no. Opponents like doing stuff. Ah, uh, vomit. Alright, we need help. We need it in the fastest of times. Hey, Fumigate, your help. Will we be alive in two turns? No, doesn't look like we'll be alive in two turns, but... 
I mean, you are technically help. Take a minimum of six this turn. Oh, no, we take eight this turn. Don't you do it, opponent. Nice. He spared us two point. No, no. <laughs> he tricked me. All right, so we're dead on board. <laughs> we're, we're, we're dead on board. We just have to kind of hope he doesn't go for it. Draw that card. Don't go for it. There you go. That's a good start. Um, now, don't get energy anyway. He gets the energy when this thing attacks, by the way. I, I actually, I, I realize that. I'm just <laughs> standing over here, like, hoping. No, now he's 100% going to go for it. There's just no way he's not going to go for it. I have an unsummon. I have an unsummon opponent. Don't you do it. Alright, we're dead. Yeah, yeah. We're dead. Dead Areno. Dead O'Clock. Alright, you get out of my deck. You get out of my deck. Uh, I mean, probably, I guess I could have. I don't think it would have mattered, but... That is something I guess I could have did. Once we showed him the Dorn Cat, I don't think he's ever going to play around Settle. I find very few opponents play around it to begin with, but I guess it was better than leaving ourselves just dead on board. Which is what we did. So it's, pr it's probably better than what we did, for sure. Definitely seems like it was better than what I did. I highly doubt it would have mattered, but I still think I was wrong. I don't really like Solemnity. I don't think this card does anything. But if there was ever a match for it, it is certainly this match. I don't really want to cut the charter courses, but I don't see anything in my graveyard that I, or my sideboard that I like less. Or my main deck that I like less. I don't, I don't. Will we play first? Why, yes. Hey, it's a reasonable hand. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope that we draw one of them, like, on the ASAP. Like, I'm not a fan of that card, but if there was a match it's good for, it's certainly this one. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're doing it, fam. Casting spells. We have played a 1 1 cat. Go get him, 1 1 cat. Hopefully, our opponent just not does not play a 2 2 block our cat. Or a 2 3 block a cat. Nice! Nice! This cat's going to get to do all of the work. And by all the work, I mean it's probably just going to get fatal pushed. But that's okay. Oh, he's going to duress us? That's the second opponent that's brought in duress versus me. Took Ixalan's Binding over Fumigate. Uh. 
That surprises me. Cool, another five drop. We have 26 lands. We probably can get there. hi -ya. Karate Chop Kitty. A land or a Solomonity would be two nice draws here. Oh, okay. Well, that explains that then, I guess. Really just want to land. Screw that Solom Solomonity. Don't care about that card at all. Our opponent's tapped out with a summoning sick creature, and we've decided to take a pause on his turn. I would have pressed F6 the second I put that duress on stack. Alright, I guess we'll just wait here. By the way, I don't know if I said it, but hello, D2. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to play on Facebook. Hey, it's land o'clock. I doubt he's going to block. And if he does block, we don't care. Whatever he decides to do, I wish he would just decide quicker. I guess this is a budget option. So these three four flyers are actually pretty good, even if they don't do anything other than three four and fly. I need some tater chips or something. This guy's killing me. What did I say? League ends in ten weeks. I thought it said twenty two minutes. I, how the hell did I read ten weeks and think it said twenty two minutes? What kind of blind am I? Wow. I'll put my buddy's Al stream and say hello to him, but nobody wants to hear him curse somebody out right now. Maybe I need to go get more Halloween candy or something. These awkward pauses are the best. We're like, we're just not doing anything. We're not thinking. There's nothing to talk about. Oh, opponent's back. We get attacked. Uh, 
Uh, all right, untap land, baby. We can do it one time. Untap the landerino. You can do it, deck. You didn't do it. You let us down. You did not do it. Oh no. I guess we don't want him to draw a card, so we'll take this one. If we get our angels in play, in theory, we can handle the board anyway. Or, like, we've got some chump blockers and drawing to fumigates, but, like, if he just draws a million cards, we're going to lose anyway. All we want to do is free four flyer our opponent. I am excessively tired for not very good reason. Excuse me for the yawn. No, not Ronus. Ronus does things like killing me, and it doesn't even do it softly. Uh, if I have to block one of these, I guess I block with this one. Just block with both. So he turns this into a four. Right, so blocking with both does nothing. This is the one that if worse comes to worse, I can bring back next turn. Worse came to worse, friends. Yeah. So we're just dead. Our 26 land did not hit our fifth land. We have four and 12, though, which is a reasonable number. A reasonable number. I don't think we have any outs now. I guess if he has no follow up at all. We'd have some outs. Down to 10. But we have to cast this thing, unfortunately. We'll discard this one because we're not going to have time to cast both of those anyway. And if somehow we can stall long enough, you know, like, like say a double block's good next turn or something, which we don't even know if it will be. And then like Angel to turn after that, then potentially this to turn after that could save us. But... First steps first. We're trying to beat the board, and that's not particularly easy. Lone Tusk Cub itself can already be an 8, which is a problem. So, like, anything that produces energy or any removal spell, and I probably don't even get out of the turn. All right, well, we don't care about the duress. That's a non-factor at this point. Worried about things that produce energy and or things that kill my creatures. Alright, so... Do we get greedy and double block this? Hey, bam. What's up, man? EA Matumbo. So, what happens if we block this? We take a decent amount of damage. If we just block the Winding Restrictor. We take a giant amount of damage. Yeah, we're gonna block this. He's got a removal spell. I don't think we're winning this game anyway. He just kills the angel and then kills us.
He's got a blossoming defense, getting it out of his hands. Also fine, it feels like. Yeah, I don't think we beat blossoming defense anyway. Like, I think the angel has to do angel things or we lose. So I don't, I don't think I have the luxury to play around anything at all. And, of course, solemn, solemn, solemnity, you are our best. All right. Well, drew a thousand lands, and then no lands, really. That was disappointing. I felt like a favorite in that match, and I felt we had like a pretty good hand, but then we just couldn't deploy our threats. Maybe I shouldn't shave on charter, charter course. Maybe they're too important. All of two charter courses and four champion of so we still have plenty of ways to find their lands. Oh god, my nose. Sorry. Yeah, so we're playing for a pity chest now. I don't particularly felt like I've got to play a lot of magic in the losses. Uh, I do think I've had to play a reasonable amount in the wins, though. I guess I can't keep on one land. Alright, hand's terrible. We could have kept on one land if this was cast out, which I'm almost confident that this should be cast out. I think Saffron Olive's wrong about that not being cast out. I know he even posted talking about how good it was and stuff like that, but like the cast out just lets you smooth your draws. It's such an incredible amount that I think it overlaps the binding. Especially on a deck that seems like it is extraordinarily mana heavy. Which is what I'm looking at right now. This deck just feels like it's extraordinarily mana heavy. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of the angel then. Don't know what our opponent's playing. He just could still be on teamer, so I guess we'll save the fumigate. Yeah, he was on teamer. Do have double fumigate in our hands, so if we get to five lands. I assume this is going to be a marginally easy win. At least game one. That cast out could foil that, but other than cast out, I don't think we can really lose a game one if we draw our lands. have to actually draw the lands, though. We need, like, three of them. Guess what? That's not. This is when we start getting aggravated at Magic Online. Starting thinking about the sideboard again. Like, we know we're going to bring in the four Solemnities. We know we're going to take out two of the authorities. I'm not sure what the other two cards we're going to take out are. Oh, well, that's fun. Rip K 
can't win now. Oh. It's going to be the shortest stream ever. Uh, so we're going to bring in these. Um, we're not going to take out the charter courses now. Guess we're just going to take out this stuff. Probably be pretty emo about this. Hey, uh, v, v Beta 97 thank you for that follow. Follow hype. Another one land hand. I don't think we can keep it. And now we have a five land no action hand. I guess we'll keep this one. Snap put that on bottom. Keeping this one because I can cycle to farmlands and we have a solemn solemnity. Hey, sweet Matt. What's up, man? We're getting browned. We're about to lose this game, too. We've played a lot of non-interactive games. I want to give my land set a little bit more than the farmlands because I know I'm playing this next turn anyway, but that might have been wrong. I may should have just like played the rivulet and cycled or something. <sighs> may end up not even cycling the farmlands. The problem with Solemnity is, like, these energy decks can just beat you with their creatures, right? Like, like Glorybringer's still Glorybringer. Skyship's still Skyship. Chandra's still Chandra. Like, like turning a Long Tusk Cub into a 2-2 two -two for 2, sure, that's great. But it doesn't mean the 2-2 two -two for 2 just can't do work on its own. Or like a Bristling Hydra, like a 4-3. Like, a 4-3 is still a real creature. It is kind of rough for them, but like, like, they can still easily win the games is all I'm trying to say. So let's start with this one. I feel like just more Wrath of Gods is what you want, like, to set all the wreckages. Uh... I'm gonna put these two in the graveyard and actually just play the farmlands now. Actually, just gonna block here before he has a chance to kill this of Glorybringer. I'm gonna prevent four. Uh, see, see, I like, I like disagree, like. Uh, if that solemnity wasn't there and it was just a uh, settled wreckage, I feel like I would be in better shape than I am. Even though I do feel like I'm in reasonable shape anyway. I feel I feel like I'm in okay shape, but like I think if it was a settled wreckage, I would just be winning. I think I'd be winning by a fair amount if it was settled wreckage.
Yeah, um, Solemnity doesn't... Uh, energy is energy counters. So, like, you can't get energy and... Death scores your scavenger, and boys, we're screwed. I have to play my lands to get to the seven mana eternalize. Wait a minute. He took the champion of wits instead of this? Dude's insane. What? Can I play this thing first? Certainly just going to discard that. Why did he do that? It takes uh, seven mana to even eternalize that, though. So, like, we have to keep playing the lands to be able to eternalize it. Opponent gave us eight life and two four four blockers when, like, we were dead on board practically if he'd played it differently. Like, he had 12 points of attack, so we had to interact with him. That's mind boggling to me. It's just straight mind boggling. We can still draw Fumigate. Opponent still has five cards in hand. Suck it's Glory Bringer. Glory Bringer probably kills us. But I guess we have to block while we can. How good would hitting another... Uh, How good would hitting another Sun Scourger be right here? I can't really put this in my graveyard, so I guess we'll do this one. I guess we'll play this one too. Yep, really got to hit that Fumigate now. We still have four of them, though, and we've gone through 20 cards, so, like, we're probably fairly close to being able to find one. He can't really attack this turn either unless he has a removal spell, so that's kind of good for us. If he has a removal spell, he just kills the champion attacks and eats it with the scavenger, but, like, if he doesn't have a removal spell... We just chump block something and we can buy back the champion next turn. Unless he's got, you know, a second scavenger. Yeah, we got a 1 in 10 chance to draw it, but we've got multiple turns. Like, we're not going to die in one turn. I don't think. At least not with, like... The champion of wits, him having to play around the champion of wits and the hostile hostile desert for a blocker. I think we'll get at least two draw steps. We may even get three, depending on like we could draw like an Ixalan's binding or something and eke out another one. But the worst case, I assume we're getting to, unless his hand's just like super gas. So I think we're at like roughly 20% to hit.
Sure. I'm going to block this guy. They in theory trade. Hopefully he doesn't have a second one of these. Uh, so we get two four fours. He kills one. We block one. We take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, well, we don't have... All right, so... We die to a removal spell if we play the champion. If we play the other one, we die to a removal spell as well. All right, we die to a removal spell either way. All right, so if we die to another removal spell either way, You could also have negates and stuff too, like the champion or the uh, the one card may not resolve. Certainly don't want a meandering river. Well, we found a fumigate. Is it too late to be too late? Who knows. The Fumigate was the 29th card in our deck. So we're dead on board the Glorybringer. We're dead on board the Harness Lightning. We're dead on board the Island Confiscation Coup. Dead on board to a lot of things. Oh, we're not dead on board the Harness Lightning. Never mind. He can't. Uh, he can't get the energy from the Harness Lightning. That was a stupid statement by me. So we're pretty much only dead on board the Glory Bringer then. Glory Bringer and uh, not just Glory Bringer, but Glory Bringer and uh, Negate. We can't beat a Negate here either. Magma spray? Sure. Oh sweet, he's casting something. That means there's no negate, and we get a nice little life total cushion to make Glorybringer not just kill us. Happy days, fam. We have Ixalan's Binding if he does have a Glorybringer. We have just Angel of Sanctions if he has a Glorybringer as well. I think we might have pulled this one off. I think the Slim Solemnity might have won the game. Still think a Settled the Wreckage would have did the same thing, if not more, but... Uh, we lose this game 100% if opponents just took our Sun Scourge Champion instead of our Champion a Wit Set turn. Do you think it might have been right for me to cast a Sun Scourger and then cast a Fumigate so I could buy the Sun Scourger back? Or is that just too much? I guess this guy's bigger than the other guy. Kind of want this land. Wow, I didn't expect to win that game. I thought we were just dead.
Thought we were just dead. Still don't think I like this card. Uh, it's kind of bad versus Glorybringer. I'm just going to submit to 75 and run it back. Or sorry, 60 and run it back. See how it goes. Giddy Chest on the line. Game three. We're going to crack the crap out of that pity chest, too. If we get it. You like spell pierces here? Is this hand good enough? This hand does not look good enough to me. What am I trying to get if I mulligan, though? Am I just mulliganing? I cracked eight this morning, Dumbo, and I got less than one ticket. Screw Eevee. Uh, this hand looks real bad to me. I guess I'll keep it. We're on to draw and we have one thing to cycle. Oh, I am way down on chess even with that. Alright, that makes this hand a lot better. I think we just have to dodge and negate and find a fumigate and we'll win every game versus them, but... Maybe I'm wrong about that. We played a two drop and our opponent didn't. It's always kind of amazing. Art on that's kind of pretty. What's that from? It's just like a random promo or like a dual deck or something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that card can be problematic. Certainly going to need to find a Fumigate, though. I imagine we're going to have to find a Fumigate almost every game. Yeah, 21 more turns, and that thing can beat us if we do nothing. Tap the forest first, untap the forest. I think I'm just casting Anointed Procession next turn no matter what. That may be wrong. I guess if I draw a Fumigate, I wouldn't cast Anointed. I'd play one of these tap lands. Alright, so if he has like a glory bringer or something now we get to gain eight life at least. Well, I mean he doesn't actually have to kill my thing. It doesn't actually have to kill it, I was just saying. I was just I was just spitting bombs, son. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. He's doing this, he probably has a Death Scourge Scavenger, which is fine. We're still drawing to Fumigate. Wait. Wait a darn minute. He didn't play anything. Kind of want to just discard this one. If he had the Scavenger, he would have played it last turn. Five mana and he didn't play anything? I don't actually know what's going on here.
I think he might have accidentally, like, effed through his turn or something. Because that doesn't seem like a play he would ever make. Why would he ever make that attack? That, att that attack makes absolutely no sense if he didn't have some kind of other play. I literally think that that had to just be a misclick. It not being a misclick makes no sense to me. This is a match five game something. So how greedy am I? Do I just want to get another 4-4? Four four, or do I want to try to get multiple 4-4s? Four so let's cycle first. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm just going to get another 4-4. Four, four. Gives us a massive life total. I'm willing to trade one of these for this Whirler Virtuoso because this Whirler Virtuoso kind of scares me. If we didn't have, you know, over 30 points of life, I probably wouldn't offer that trade. Guess maybe you could have, like, hours of devastation, but that doesn't make sense. I don't know. He's got, like, kind of a three block here, or he just takes eight. Alright, I don't really know what's going on. Our opponent's hand has to be very weird. Maybe it's just like infinite confiscation coups in his hand. Right, so this probably a gory bee the way he tapped his mana. All right. If we draw an untapped land, we can play both of these, which would be nice. That's not an untapped land. Alright, so which one of these is better to play if I can only play one? I guess the only one that we know does anything? I'm going to play it pre-combat in case he has a negate, then he wouldn't be able to double block one of our dudes. Tap my mana stupidly. If I tap my mana better, I could use this at the end of my turn. Yeah, that was... God, I'm playing bad. Wow, that was miserably bad. I deserve to lose this game. Yep, yep. I see, I see it now, Geo. That's what I was saying. I deserve to lose this game. I'm an idiot. Such an idiot. Wow, that was so very, 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 very bad. Literally have, like, kind of got my face and my hand in shame right now. I'm glad that I don't have a webcam. I am fairly animated. I'm just like... Oh my god, I'm so, so, so bad. I felt kind of far enough ahead that I wanted to try to shut off any of his extra energy. But I should, I should have definitely left this untapped. All right, well, if things go real bad, we have that now. I 
See what kind of blocks happen here. We'll go ahead and use this now because if I hit another champion, we still have the mana to use it. If we uh, if we hit like an Adorn Cad or something like this, our last turn mistake ends up being super costly. If he's gonna negate, he kinda needs to negate this. Oh god. So he doesn't have a negate either? What's in his hand? Just an abrade? Alright. And a commit. And he's gonna like memory on his turn, I guess? That's that's kind of hurtful for us. We do still have this, which is not nothing, but this game just took a took a fair turn. When he commits we may no longer have this as well. Sorry, memories. I feel like he has to memory here. Why is he not attacking? Okay, I was going to say, why is he not attacking with Glorybringer? It's beyond three. Feel like he has to use this card. Unless this hand's something stellar. I'm literally hiding my hand. I don't I don't want to know what I draw. I want to slow roll it to, for myself. So you guys are gonna to get to see the seven cards we draw before I do. I see a farmlands. A champion of wits, a chart of course. Alright. So we see a very terrible hand. Wow, we're going to lose this game. We are going to lose this game, fam. Did not think this game was losable. And then I played real bad and we probably lost. Huh. Uh, oh my god, that was been a better play than what I did, wouldn't it? Oh, we don't have seven mana, do we? We didn't have the mana for that. Oh, I guess we did have the mana for that. No, we didn't have the mana for that. Yeah, we didn't have the mana for that. It takes six mana to buy this back. We only have seven. We've already played our land for the turn. I've already played my land for the turn. So if he's got a Death Gorger, we're uh, not in the bestest of shape. If he doesn't, we're okay. 
Okay. Uh, of course he's got that. Alright. No, he's going to be fine. So we've got several draw steps to hit a Fumigate. Well, that's not a Fumigate. So what gives us the most draw steps? So this gives us two. But we can also get two with this, so like that. So we can only get two no matter what. Let's see, Charter Course could also hit Sun Scourger, which would give us another turn. So I think it's Charter Course. There's a Fumigate. Alright. One, two, three. If he's got Spell Pierce, we can't do anything about it. I don't really want to put this in my graveyard because you could have more of these. I think we're going to discard these. And then we're going to hope he doesn't have Spell Pierce. Alright, sweet. No Spell Pierce. All right, that's step one. He still has five cards in his hand, though. Do you have double Ixalan's binding now? Which is kind of nice. What is this, a bristling hydra? All right. Probably going to Binding and Champion. We're going to Champion first, though. Alright. I think we'll start with this. Yes. Ooh. We're just going to put that in our graveyard, then. We've not played a land yet this turn. Uh, we'll target you. We'll target you. We'll target you. And we'll target you. That's probably it. Well, that was a game changer. All right. Well, we beat energy. Apparently, I underrate sol sol solemnity because I don't think we win that game if we don't have solemnity. All right. So we broke even with this deck. Let's go ahead and crack this uh, silly chest wherever it is. What do we got? <laughs> I just drafted one of these. I remember this card. No, I don't remember this card. The one I remember was from Visions and it was blue, so they made a second one. That's kind of kind of odd. <laughs> we hit a mythic though. It's worth literal nothing, but we hit one. Alright, so the deck. The deck felt fine, like it's not it's not a tier one deck or anything, but it's good enough that you can play some magic with it. Um the mono red match, like we played two mono red matches, one of them felt very easy, one of them felt very hard. We played versus a blue black control match, which felt miserable. We played versus a black green energy deck, which I actually kind of felt like a favorite versus. I think Solemnity is very good versus black green energy and Sultai energy. I think it's less good versus Glorybringer energy, but somehow we beat the Glorybringer energy and we lost to the black green energy, <laughs> which was. Pretty unexpected, but yeah, it felt fun. I might would play it again. Like, it was kind of fun. Any deck with Anointed Procession is kind of fun.
So we're going to find somebody to host and we're going to hop out of here. So what are we looking at? Who do I follow that's playing Magic? Hey, Total MTG and he's playing Red White Approach. Well, Total MTG is definitely getting today's host. He's uh, a good bloke. I lost this deck with Approach. Wow, how did you lose with Approach? That's That's impressive to me. But this deck does seem kind of cool. I don't think it's great, but I think it seems kind of cool. I think the mana base needs some work. Like, I think the hostages, or I think the hostile deserts are better cute than good. I don't think it needs meandering rivers. Uh, I think to come into play tap lands are a little annoying, but yeah, I liked it. I like how I named it Blue Light a Bomb too, when it's really Blue Light Eternalize. And by the way, thanks for stopping by. Sorry that it's at the end of the stream. But anyway, I'll be back tomorrow as always, and I'll be posting a Abzan Tokens video on YouTube in just a little bit. Give us some follows, guys, if you appreciate it, and take care. Have a great day, and go watch our buddy play uh, the Firebird Invocation Red White Approach deck.